Hi, and welcome to my channel, My Heaven Zero, Retired and Inspired. Welcome back. Today I have a couple of things that I want to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about my Paula Young mid-length topper that I purchased. And I just wanted to give you an update about how it's going. I'm really enjoying it. I have been wearing it every day and um, it's really it's really been nice I've enjoyed the fact that I have coverage on my head and I can pull it back and join it with my own hair put it up if I choose and it's really working nicely that way I did want to tell you that I did have one tip um, two tips actually the first one is in the first video which if you haven't seen it um, I can link it but in the first video I shared with you how thin my hair is on top and I really did have a little bit of trouble <laughs> keep keeping um, clicking um, hooking it up to anything up here because I really truly have very fine thin thin hair so I'm, I took a picture and I'll insert it here You, you'd be able to see that I did a, a bobby pin like a, a curled bobby pin with the two bobby pins crossed and I did that on both sides of my head right exactly here and that's where the clips go and then I attached it and that gave me something a little bit more to grasp here um, I know that there have been some other ideas but that didn't seem to work for me so this was the best this was the best so basically what I did was is uh, like I said I put the two, two um, ring bobby pins here and then um, basically hooked the two back ones to the back of my head and it's really it's really gone nicely the other tip that I have and because this particular wig came and it matches my hair great I mean you can't tell really the difference between the color of my hair and this hair this is my hair down here and this is the wig I mean seriously they're the same color the only thing was is up on the top of my head it was just too too blonde because as you can see if you're looking if you can see in the side of my head here and the side here which is my real hair um, I have I have growth growing out um, I'm growing my hair out it's a little bit gray and it's going to be like that as my hair does grow out and um, so I felt that the top needed to be toned down a little bit so what I'm using here this is from Joan Rivers and it is called great hair day and this particular color is um, salt and pepper now all you do you get this brush with it as well and this is what it looks like on the inside and basically you just dab some of this on there and I wear this also when I don't have a wig on but I found that it works beautifully with the wig so what I would do is I just go like so and dab it in and it makes the roots match it makes the roots match what the sides are now you've probably already heard of this tip or maybe you haven't but that's one of the tips that I have and I think it helps it helps me feel better that it's not so totally blonde up there because that's not really what my hair is so but it's been working really nicely I've been wearing it every day for a week I like I said I've pulled it back worn it up I've even it even on, on Thanksgiving I pulled it back pulled it up and then attached another piece onto the back of that so that I had full hair here and then I had full hair and then I had um, an updo so that was kind of neat and nobody nobody knew the difference so that was kind of fun and I do have one more thing that I want to share and 
um, when I when I did the first video I talked about a, um, a new piece that I had purchased to help hold the wig on and I just want to say I want to review that for you as I did try it I have my glasses on so I can read this anyway this is called the deluxe soft touch grip and it it definitely this is from Polly Young it definitely is soft touch I thought it was going to be great I had seen a review on it that um, a lady had tried it and she felt it was a written review it wasn't a video review um, so I was excited because she had a flat head in the back as I have a flat head in the back and I thought for sure um, this was going to do the trick. Anyway, this was the Deluxe Soft Touch Grip. And um, it did not work for me. Now, again, I have a very flat head in the back, which is just the way, it, the way I'm designed. So for me, it did not work. I think that if you have more of a shaped head, um, this might work for you. But for me, it for me, I it just didn't work. And it says, um, wear this soft gelled band under your wig for for a secure no slip fit, a cool cushioned feel. Pebble side grip grips new growth. Well, I have quite a bit of hair, and unless it's supposed to be, if you don't have any hair, that might be what it's for. But I do have quite a bit of hair on the bottom, the length. Um. I'm going to keep it and if I I'm going to try it again um, it's supposed to dissipate body heat for a cool comfort it is cushiony it is soft it's it feels great I think that that part is very true um, it says it won't absorb sweat or scalp oils or anything like that you, um, it won't leak if punctured it's kind of got it feels like I don't know, like a silicone inside. I don't know. It's it, that's not what it says is in there, but it's self-healing and won't leak if punctured. Velcro adjustment for custom fit fits head circumference 18 and a half to 24 inches. So I don't know if that's my problem, but I'm gonna try it again in a different circumstance and play with it. But I did say that I was gonna try it and let you know. For me, it did not. As of yet, it did not work, but I, I don't give up that easily. So we'll see what happens. So that is my update today on the mid, mid length topper. I'm really enjoying it. It's working really great with my hair. I've been wearing it every day and having fun with it. So, so far so good. And I think I will update you again um on it maybe in another couple weeks and let you know how that's going i don't have any more new wigs coming right now but as of right now i don't have anything in the works i don't have anything new coming um it's just what what you've seen so far um but i'm really surprised as to how how the my wig tutorials have started to take off i also do for those who don't really know, I started this video, I started doing videos actually to um, show projects that I, I make because I have an Instagram channel Inst and I was getting a lot of good feedback through friends and whatnot about, about them when I share them on Facebook. So that is what spurred me on to actually start making videos. However, I, did, I made a couple videos with the wigs that I had and that's kind of where the interest interest has really fallen for the people who are watching me that's where I'm seeing most of the um, I'm getting most of my views from my videos so I'm still going to be putting out um, some design videos for decoration I got a couple with for Christmas that I'm still going to put out and I think I'm going to try and keep going with this wig thing and I can also share other things um, I just bought a whole kit of it cosmetics and it cosmetics is one of my favorite 
cosmetic lines and I would be more than happy to share that with you as to what I have. I can do something with that. If you'd like to see anything more on that line, I kind of fell into this kind of unexpectedly, like I said, and I would love it to continue to grow. So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't already, please do so so that you can continue following me into whatever direction I'm going into with wigs or beauty or or projects. Who knows which way I'm going, right? I'm retired. I can do whatever I want, right? We all can. That's the spirit of, and that's the beauty of being retired. We can do whatever we want and be whatever we want. That's the whole fun of it. Anyway, thanks for joining. Look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Until next time, bye-bye.